Hello again, Hot Wheels collectors, and in particular the ones that like the crazy cartoon looking ones, and Batmobiles. Because this is a 2004 first edition of the Hard Nose Batmobile, where it's really big in the front and small in the back. It is Batmobile 1989. Number 42 of 100 that year, I guess, in 2004. Okay. I like this movie. I was a kid when this movie came out. You probably weren't even born yet. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, I gotta say, even though this is a cartoon proportion, this is such a long car in real life that it looks cartoonish, right? The front end looks really huge. Here's the Peterson Museum's pictures of it. So this is much better lighting, of course. It's not a dark movie set. And there you go. Yeah, so... <laughs> Can't expect the world for a, a mainline Hot Wheels, but this is pretty good for the price, I think. It is a matte finish black, so that's good. Uh, I'm not really liking the flames so much, but uh, yeah, that's weird. I'm not sure why they would have done that. Why wouldn't they just release it just matte black like the real vehicle? Well, anyways, it's got the super extra large wheels in the front and match, sort of matching wheels in the back, media small size ones. You got all this molded details for the intake there, and gravelies here, some panel lines, really tight panel lines actually, especially for Hot Wheels, it's impressive. I mean, those are tighter than a lot of uh, premium uh, die casts. Okay, some venting here, and then we have the intake to the uh, turbine engine, all chromed out. And then uh, no paint in here though, for the turn signals or running lights. Yeah, more panel gaps here. I think the machine guns pop up out of this, these here. Not sure what those were. I forget. Sliding canopy area. That detail. I forget what it is, but it's there. I think it's a window on the real one. Some vent details. Fin details. Some louvers. And then the engine is chromed out again. And it's very deep here in the middle, so that's cool. Now, unfortunately, no, no, this is correct. Yeah. A little red paint will make those look nice. But wait a second. That's an illusion. It's an optical illusion. They are vertically stacked, but it looks like this is angled because of this angle. So it's weird. It looks crooked to me, but it's not. It's just an optical illusion. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see how it tapers also in the, the plan view from the fat to the thinner rear. And then here on the bottom, we have the chrome base and all that stuff. And trademark DC Comics. Oh, it doesn't actually say it's a Batmobile, though. It's kind of weird. And actually, it's the Hot Wheels. It does roll. <laughs> it's just crazy how tall the front is, right? I think it's a good subject matter for them to make into a hard-nosed vehicle because it is such a cartoonish-looking vehicle in real life anyways. Well, anyways, i got to get a, get some real Batmobile wheels on this guy. And here we are. So, I guess one issue I had is, you know, this wheel well is really big, but the axle hole is pushed really high up, so, and I also, if I made the rear wheel bigger, it would start to rake like that, so I kind of left it around the same size as the original tire uh, put up by Hot Wheels, so it has the same stance. Alright, so yeah, the tire is a separate piece from the wheel, even though they're actually painted the same color. In hindsight, maybe I could just made them all the same piece, but whatever. I had to make up my own Batman logo. I couldn't really find side images of the wheels, uh, but I do know that they're relatively deep and they have a conical center here. This is supposed to be silver, but there's no way I would paint that. It's supposed to be chrome, I think, on the real one. And then I added some black paint here and by the Greeblies to make it look darker and used I guess and they add some yellow here in these running lights and some red on the tail lights there and some yellow inside the engine and then some black around the engine uh, louvers there so that's all I did for the additional work um, not that I care so much but it does roll <laughs> yeah all right so that's it let's compare it to a couple other Batmobiles All right, well, first Batmobile, or the last Batmobile project I did was this one with the... <laughs> I forget the actor's name again. Uh, Pattinson, Robert Pattinson. 
I always think about him being a vampire from that Twilight series. So, anyways, these that's a more realistic looking car, of course. Uh, another one is the original Batmobile, and this is by, I guess, a premium. I thought it might have been a Char Wheels, but no, Char Wheels don't expose their axles. So this, this is a Bone Stock Hot Wheels Premium. <coughs> Here's a main line from the animated series. And apparently this was a treasure hunt. It had flames and I stripped them off. I stripped all the paint off, sanded it down, repainted it, whole thing. And then 3D printed wheels. This one you can see I drilled it apart to uh, you know, get paint on the windows or the engine there. But I like it. I like the exaggerated look of uh, that one. And the last spot will actually be a 1989 Batmobile by Charo Wheels, which is by Bandai. It's the Japanese branch of Hot Wheels in there. Probably the best Hot Wheels you can get that aren't uh, RLCs. But even RLCs, to my recollection, have exposed axles, which to me just, just seems silly. So these char wheels do not you know you can see the batman logo there and uh yeah similar wheels it doesn't have the transition though this is just a straight extrusion it doesn't have the slope which uh the real car seems to have okay uh yeah if you want to see the bottom of this for some reason this has rubbery tires with treads and it's screwed together so that's another plus so it's a real shame that uh, Bandai doesn't make more models for Hot Wheels because these are superior. This is plastic inserts for the running lights there. And this is pretty weak though. The depth of it, I mean even the mainline hard nose has a deeper intake here than this Charo Wheels. But I like how this actually has, you know, a clear canopy and you can see a little bit of the interior there. Oh, I probably should add silver paint to that hard nose so that they know it's there. Or maybe it doesn't belong there, never mind. Okay, so I noticed the hard nose doesn't have these four additional round things. I forget if they're lights or thrusters, but anyways, it's still pretty cool. It's probably the best 164-ish 1989 Batmobile. So in particular, you can see the... It's such a comical looking car that this doesn't even look that crazy, at least from the top view. So that's it for the Batmobiles, but we're not done yet because I'm going to pull out a few other hard nose because uh, I just like these things and frankly I don't get any chance to show them off because, well, there's only a few collectors that seem to want to have these things. Sorry, I'm just gathering these up. So here's the first one. This is a Chevy pickup if I recall. I could be wrong. It says a 59 Chevy right there. And uh, this one has just some steelies that I 3D printed with some actual center cap things because I had to make it in a way. Well, you go look up the video. Just look up my look up hard nose in my channel, and you'll you'll find the video on that one. Here's a Cadillac 16 concept car. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, All right, I like that. I wish Cadillac made that for real. I think they'd have a market for it. And then I think one of my favorites for sure is this Monte Carlo. And I got some Dayton's running on this thing. And it's a 74 Chevy Monte Carlo. Yeah, so again, center caps with uh, the two prong knockoffs there. So now these hard nose are actually quite different <coughs> in their scaling, it seems. All right. Some are long, some are wide, some are taller, some are shorter. But they're definitely all comical looking with the really big front ends. I guess this is the most normal looking one. And this might be the most drastic one because the cockpit is so low, it's crazy. So if you are a hard nosed fan, which one do you like the most? I'd be interested to know. I think I actually still like this the most, even though this is the last project. Alright, well anyways, let's let this guy spin. Spin in front of this photograph here. Well, it's a shame that the hard-nosed line kind of died off, which I can totally understand. 
they <laughs> they did I don't think there was much demand for something this these this goofy looking if there was it was probably by really small kids I don't imagine many adults collecting hard nose but I have the mentality of a really small kid so I like these if you like him leave a comment you might be the only one all right thanks for watching I'll see you in the next Hot Wheels wheel swap I'm Batman